I don't gatekeep on this channel, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I post hair videos, life videos, and vlogs. Today's video, I'm specifically, I'm gonna be super transparent. I don't have any affiliation with Amazon. They're not paying me to post this, whatever. But one thing about me is I love a sale, I love a bargain, and I love, love sharing the word. I don't gatekeep on this channel, okay? So, Amazon Prime Day, I think it's called, right? Amazon Prime Day is happening July 16 to 17 so I wanted to specifically make sure I drop this video for you guys while that is happening so that you can get the greatest deals on what I'm about to talk about so I want to help you start your curly hair journey your natural hair journey and I was like this is the perfect fucking time this is what Amazon must have you definitely should have if you're gonna start that and I wanted to make sure I post this during that week so Everything I'll talk about will be linked down below. So yeah, I hope this is helpful and let's get into it. If this is your first time here, um, I had a big chop a while back. This is my hair completely healthy, natural. Um, the only thing that's been changed of it is I do have some hair dye in here. I go to a curly hair specialist. She's the only one that dyes my hair. She's the only one that cuts my hair. I mean, I be trimming it here and there as well. But um, yeah, I've only had my hair dyed by my curly hair specialist. She's amazing. If you're in Massachusetts, I'll put her on the screen. Um, and yeah, we're going to redo this dye in August. So I'm really excited because I feel like the blonde just suits me. But yeah, the black, this brown color, that's me. This is dyed. So anyways, just letting you know about my hair. Um, my porosity types are on the screen as well. Okay, now let's get into it. So when you're going to start your natural hair journey, I have listed five things for you, okay? So number one, scarves. Scarves, bonnets, all of that. Let's get some new ones. Let's get some new ones. Let me move to the side so y'all know what to buy, right? And I'm going to put pictures and links down below. So new scarves, right? So I would say toss the old ones out, right? And let's switch to satin scarves, satin scarves, bonnets. If you have never seen my videos before, I what i do to wrap my hair up at night this is actually it's the morning time so this is my hair from after wrapping it up so as you can see she's pretty good i mean she's a little flat in the back but not so much not so much basically what i do is i'll do a pineapple sorry if my armpits are hairy i'll do a pineapple like this the hair tie you use makes a huge difference and i'll talk about that in a minute too um so i'll do that and then i'll do my scarf and then bonnet on top and I've done a little video I'll try to put it on the screen of how I wrap up my hair just toss out all the old shit for this video you're gonna just toss out the old shit because we're starting brand new so we're gonna get satin silk satin um, scarves and bonnets so these are the ones that I use on the screen right here and um, the reason that satin is really much better is because it helps retain the shine in your hair it helps reduce the breakage and they also make satin pillowcases too. you can do that too if you want but the reason I don't do it is because I have wear earrings to bed like <laughs> don't care I wear earrings to bed and they be like scratching the fuck out of my pillowcases so I just stopped doing that but I used to but um, not anymore so yeah number two toss out the expired products guys I cannot tell you listen this is your first time here I don't play about a bargain like I, I what I said in the beginning I mean that like and I got receipts to prove it old videos to prove it I understand keeping a product you love that you put your money into and not wanting to throw it away until you finish it trust me it does more harm than good if your product is like a year old okay but the five-year-old girl, the five-year-old, three-year-old products, throw that shit away. Like, don't piss me off. Like, get rid of that. That is just done. So, yeah, I would say toss that out. And what you're going to do is to start your journey is figure out your porosity type. I know I said that in the beginning of the video. Maybe if, this, if you don't know what that is, you're like, what are you talking about? Click on this video here on the screen. I'll leave it, link it down below. Um, so you can figure out what your porosity type is and what products work for you. I feel like when you know your porosity type, then you can really shop for products. But because of my porosity type, I will list out like if you feel like your hair looks like mine and you don't or you want to be lazy you don't want to do a porosity test fine but this is the one of the products that i use the most that i feel like are more most helpful for my hair but yeah porosity type is just kind of knowing like how your hair retains water because you need water to put on product and if you don't know how your hair retains water then you're not going to be putting on products correctly and you're going to be putting on products that don't align with your porosity type 
so keep that in mind okay number three combs brushes spray bottle and i'll also add in microfiber microfiber towels i find that having a great comb makes a huge difference because when you're detangling when you're detangling this and it's 8 p.m and you're tired and you've had a long ass day maybe you got kids and you're fucking tired of them being fresh all day and you're like girl i'm tired as hell i don't want to deal with this you have a comb that does not detangle your hair in a gentle way you're gonna be pissed off and you're gonna just let this mat up not up and you're never gonna get to it trust me i don't have kids but trust me i don't have kids but i have a lot of hair so when it comes to detangling these are the ones that i use i have always been tender headed my whole life like me and my mom used to like scrap up not really <laughs> we would, like beef when she would do my hair because she would grab whatever comb and i would be in pain crying ready to die and even at the salon i'd be like i'm i'm tender headed so i need you to like be mindful so these are very like tender headed friendly i will absolutely say that and then also the um denman brush i'll put it here now that is my styling comb i have one for detangling i have one for styling i find i used to be so anti denman brush i was like i'm not wasting money on a brush to put my products on what do you mean i have fingers that work perfectly fine no it makes a huge difference it does this is um done with denman brush here i actually have not ever ever since i bought it i've not stopped using it <laughs> like i probably need a new one because she's probably like old but it really denman brushes really 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 help get the product through here like i wish i could shout through the rooftops like at old me 13 year old me when she was like i, I want to just straighten my hair because i want to fit in like i just wish i could be like girl get yourself a denman brush and good products and find your processing type and you'll be good but i'm 27 now so <laughs> I found out a little later but that's okay spray bottle i like the mist spray bottle like that spray bottle is really really good um i feel like it covers all of my hair great i feel like the other traditional spray bottles like they just like are a little harsh and like shoot at your scalp and like that's not what i'm here for i'm here to get the hair and a lightly mist and get the even the little frizzy parts like in between you know what i mean so i prefer that mist bottle i've also not gone back something to know about those bottles i feel like they can accrue a little like moldy smell and i even had to like sorry sorry i just burped i even had to like throw away throw away one of them because it had a moldy smell but i've been able to keep my new one smelling fresh and clean because i only put water bottle water, water in there i know it's probably like a little annoying and i it could you, you might be like you're just saying bullshit you're being bougie no trust me like it made a huge difference and yeah i just put water bottle water in there all the time and i have not had the issue and i've had this bottle for like two years now so we're doing good on that and then as far as microfiber towels um traditional towels are just not good for our hair girl they're not so you're gonna want to get a microfiber towel so this is what it looks like on the screen i use the head wrap ones i really love that because while i'm um for me especially like with the care how, how mine is um and how much water i need to use to put products in it i find that when i'm out of the shower all of the water accumulates at the back back of my head and then it starts to leak down my back so if i only put a towel on my neck is gonna be wet as hell but when it's a microfiber towel it like sucks all the water at the bottom and then it doesn't start to leak out if that makes sense so i really i really love those towels like i really appreciate those ones okay guys so when it comes to accessories yes with your curls you need to accessorize you this this looks lovely it looks cute it's whatever i guess you through the day but i have done some stuff in the past i'll try to find a picture but i've worn little hair clips in here little flowers little um colorful hair clips claw clip claw clips are accessories too you can definitely claw clip this shit let me show you hold on you could just go yep you can just grab it okay this look a hot ass mess but you know claw clip the back and sometimes I got my bangs aren't cute today, so I'm not gonna play with that. But you can do bangs with the claw clips, like you can do you can do a lot with with the hair. Don't feel like you can't do much with the curls. Like you you can do much more than this. I even buy like hair wax, and that's a little more like messy. But um, if I want to do like a little pop of color, hair wax is great for that too. And it's really fun, and it's really interesting to see your your hair in different colors and shades. And you know, I I love headband. I love headbands. These are the headbands that I buy specifically because I feel like the other ones don't make sense because my hair is thick, like I said. So I'll, if I put a very thin headband on, you're not going to see it because my hair is like on top of it. Does that make sense? But I like the other ones. And I have like, look at my shorts and my TikToks. I have a bunch of videos with 
accessories for my hair so and also shout out to I don't know what it was I think refinery uh, article used my video for headband fashion I was like ooh, thanks guys where's my check though let me stop <laughs> Okay, last but not least, so I have said on my channel before, I'm a big fan of um, air drying, but for this video, I, you know, I do have a diffuser. I do. I don't use her like that, but sometimes, sometimes you need to use a, a diffuser, you know, but since I work from home, I wash my hair and I just work. If I know I'm going somewhere in two days, I'll wash my hair Monday, and then it'll look like this Wednesday. You know what I mean? So, when I'm air, air drying. But for a diffuser, if you're a Dyson fan and you're like, damn, this shit is so expensive, but I want it, you can get this one instead. Right here. This is called the um, Bedhead Curls, Bedhead Curls, Bedhead Curls and Check Diffuser. Hello. <laughs> oh, you know what? I was going to grab it, but like, it's just too much. Work. But, but yeah. So that's the diffuser I use when I have to use something like. If I'm going to an event and I'm not, I don't have time to air dry my hair and I'm not trying to have my hair looking, like when my hair is dry, it'd be like smaller than this and looking like wet dog vibes. Like It's like, girl, I need the volume. I need the va va boom. So that diffuser is great and I feel like it works just great as a Dyson. I used my friend's Dyson at one point and I found this the same thing. So the Dyson is lovely. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. She's a very bougie experience, but for results, they both do the same thing. That is all for some Amazon must-haves to starting your natural hair journey. Please let me know if you like this video. If there's something I missed, let me know, and I'll give you a link. You, If there's something you really want and, and you want me to find you a link, I'll find you a link, no problem. So let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you're going to buy some of this stuff, if you're going to start your journey. And let me know if you're partaking in the Amazon Prime Day sale, because I know I am. Again, I... <laughs> I'm just a, a, a Amazon alcoholic. Ooh, Amazon, Amazonaholic? How would you say that? Not shopaholic. Or would it be shop shopaholic? Oh my god. Anyways, um, have a great time shopping on Amazon. Like I said, this is not sponsored by them. I just really love Amazon. And I really love buying stuff on there. Especially my hair products because, yeah. So, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Make sure to share my show. Man, oh my god guys sorry make sure to see my vlogs my other hair videos my youtube my shorts my tiktoks follow me on all my socials and i will see you in the next one bye